So what do you do when a client gets in touch and they say, hey, I want to do some ads tomorrow for this promotion? Ah, well, that's what we're going to be talking about today in this episode of Online Confidential, where I take you behind the scenes to talk about secret ad manager business. Okay, so you've got an email, a message in Slack, a DM in Facebook, however you communicate with your clients, two of those ways I wouldn't recommend, by the way. And they say, hey, I'm wanting to do a promotion tomorrow. I want to get some ads launched. And you're going, Woohoo! okay, <laughs> what do you do? Do you suddenly just drop everything and get those ads underway? Well, what I would really suggest that you do is you sit down and you have a chat with the client, first of all, to discover really what the goals are. Now, I completely get where they're coming from. Business owners, sometimes we need to hustle, right? We need to catch up on sales goals and revenue. Or perhaps we've just got an ingenious idea that we know will work, okay? But as the ad manager, how do you fit in these impulsive sometimes requests from your clients? So sit down with them and have a conversation. Figure out what their goals are. Maybe they're just going to need some retargeting campaigns to complement an email strategy. Maybe it is that they're wanting to go out to cold audiences and they're going to actually do a webinar in a week's time to pitch a new product or to get more sales of this new product, okay? Do a webinar for it. So sitting down and actually getting clear on what's required. Once you have that information, you're at a better point to be able to make a more informed decision and to get some realistic expectations for the deliverables that you can provide. So when it comes to that, don't feel obliged that you have to say, okay, great, I'll be onto it right away. Or, okay, great, yes, I'll get them loaded up, and away you go. Say, okay, great. I've got the plan together. I can see what you're wanting to do. Give me 24 hours. I need to just prioritize some of the other clients and get some things in order. And I'll think of the strategy and the assets that we're going to need and get back to you in 24 hours. Okay. So give yourself that space so that you're not feeling pressured. You're not feeling under the pump and you're not going to say or promise anything straight away that you're not going to be able to deliver on. It's okay to say, great idea. Give me 24 hours, I'll get back to you. So you have that 24 hours. So think about it, plan it out, identify what needs to be done. Is it actually even in scope for you to be doing this work? And if not, that's when you would be having a you know a conversation or even just a little sentence that says, that's a great idea. I'll get a proposal for you because that's out of scope of the work that we've currently got our agreement in place for. Okay, so if it is all in scope, you've got the outline, you know the, um, the plan, and now it's time to think of the strategy. What top of funnel ads will you need? What middle of funnel ads will you need? What bottom of funnel ads will you need? And again, this is where you would then go back to the client then the next day and say, okay, great. I've got this all planned out. I can fit it into the schedule and I'll be able to do X, Y, Z so that I can do this for you, what I'll need is, and here's a list of the assets, right? I'll need some email copy so that I can use that in the ads. Or if your client provides the ad copy, I'll need some ad copy for X, Y, Z. There's top of funnel ads. I'll need two versions of ad copy. I'll need two versions of bottom of funnel copy and two versions of testimonials. Um, Or if you outsource your ads, then you'll need to get some information from the client about it all, like a sales page, for example, and quickly get that off over to get that outsourced and get it written up for you. So you'll have all the assets, know exactly what you need, get that back to the client and say, okay, so that I can get these ads underway and launched by whatever it may be, 48 hours, I will need these things back within the next 24 hours, okay, by close of business, you know, Wednesday, for example, so that ads could be launched Friday, ideally. That way you've got Thursday to load things up. If there are any issues with the ads, if they've given you some copy, for example, that might not be compliant, you've still got Thursday where you can get it back to them, say, hey, by the way, did you realize X, Y, Z? Or looking at the landing page, 
there's some issues here that Facebook won't like. There's no privacy policy um, click link, for example. So you've got that time Thursday to be able to go over things, finalize any issues that may arise and have things underway to get the ads underway on Friday, either you know Friday morning or maybe you'll launch them for Saturday. So don't feel the pressure, even though your client may be feeling a bit of pressure to say, okay, we need to get these things launched. Take a breath. You've still got to look after your other clients. So make sure you've got space to do all that as well as not get your weekend or whatever it may be filled up. You might have a child's um, school recital that needs you need to go to that night. So allow for these kind of things. Don't let, I know someone who had uh, a saying, don't let your poor planning be my responsibility. Okay, so while things happen so quickly in this online space, and I know I have done that myself, where it's like, quick, 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 we can get this. And I've had an amazing team that's been able to jump into action and get it done. That's a bit different than being a client serving, um, you know, being an ad manager serving multiple clients who you've got to juggle, you know, um, responsibilities for. You've got to make sure they're each looked after and not let one railroad your performance on the others. So take a space, talk with them, see what needs to be done. Give, okay, I'll get back to you in 24 hours, plan it out, put the boundaries in place of when assets are required so that it's not going to overwhelm you or take over your life to get things, things done. If it's out of scope, then say that's it, you know, have, say that love to do this sounds like a great plan it's out of scope for our initial agreement so i'd be happy to get a quote to you and respect your boundaries with all of it okay while we love working with our clients while we love serving them and doing the absolute best that we can and i know a lot of us wear our heart on our sleeve and it's probably your first instinct to go yep okay and get it done that can build up resentment for you it can also cause mistakes as you're loading up the campaigns and loading up other people's accounts. So you need to make sure that you look after yourself, have these healthy boundaries and do things in a manageable way. So next time you have your client come to you with a brilliant idea that they want to launch straight away. Just remember this bookmark this video and come back to it when that happens. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you've got any questions about this, feel free to send us an email to success at socialcharlie.com or come and check us out on Facebook at Ad Manager Adventures. That's where all the fun stuff goes down for ad managers. Look forward to talking to you soon. Bye for now.